It's that time. It's that time. It's that time. Welcome to my DM podcast, the biggest internet show in Africa, baby. It's your boy Sava Sonic T. Man like Yash. Let's go. Good to have you back. Hey, my name. Ladies and gentlemen, you see I'm wearing a tie for you guys today. You know what I mean? I just came from corporate brand meetings. You know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, you know, we we, we bring the hottest artists. We bring your favorite celebrities. We get to, you know, come up and close with your favorite celebrities. We got none other than Dumi Gladi up in the house. Oh, hey, Rashi. Masari, Masari. Hey. Bro, uh, I got to right. say, like, I like you, you, yeah. oh, the whole biker, McNeil. What, what, is that I, the swag or what like, is this, bro? I, I, like, I'm an Aquarius, so Aquarius brews are very emotional, dog. So. Oh, yeah? We, ve- we we just flip emotionally all the okay, time. Cool. So uh, one moment we in the mood for this, one moment yeah. we in the mood for that. You don't know what I'm gonna do yeah. next. You know what I mean? So They're bad bads. Bro. All, <laughs> yeah, I know bad bads. You know, we all over the place, man. So I was just feeling yeah. like that. Like yeah. I think for the past, like you know, two three months, oh, I'm yeah? feeling like that. I feel like, like a, a biker, biker boy. And I used to be a biker. You know, I used to oh, have yeah, a really? bike. Yeah. Hey, what's uh, your favorite bike? What, what uh, you well, the bike I had at the time was an RS Aprilia uh, one two five. Okay, cool. Chill, you know, just to yeah. just out on the road yeah. and then. Ah, I had to now travel a lot, so I had to get a car. So. Yeah, yeah. To me, tell how are you, my boy? I'm chilling. You stunned? I'm standing yeah. My nigga, how much you? How much? How much do you spend data and airtime weekly? Uh, well, thank God for my Wi-Fi at the crib. Oh yeah. So it used to. It used to be like. Uh, I think 5k a month 5k nah my nigga yeah. 5k what you before downloading I had, dog? before I had Wi-Fi, oh yeah like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah 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 like yeah. bro I was spending like 5k dog yeah, that's you know, too much because bro. I had to always be posting on yeah. the internet yeah. even when I was a dancer always posting yeah. like I mean like uh, when YouTube even started yo dog like all these things I've just been yeah. on the internet for as long yeah. as I can remember yeah. since I was tiny yeah. you know yeah. I try not to be too Online, I used to be mm-hmm. addicted to Instagram. I had yeah. a huge addiction problem. Yeah, you know, with the internet. Let's talk about <laughs> what that. were you checking out? Yeah, everything. Porn. Oh, wait. It's just too much bombs on Instagram. YouTube. Dog. Uh, series My nigga means the bombs Everything dog. Ah, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah. Instagram has got too much bombs dog <laughs> yeah. on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on that, on that presence time. Which artist followed you Which artist that, that That followed you back That you were really happy on Instagram Yo, That's like you just a good ass out. question bro Shit That's a good ass question Um if I'm being honest I would yeah. lie It was AK man Like Oh shit what what, Which, wait, which year was this uh, I think it was last year, and and I won't lie, like it, that that was my biggest one. Yeah. And I think my second biggest one was with Casper. Followed me when we were dancing for him. So as we met him, you know, we met with Casper. Uh, me, myself, Costa Tidge, mm-hmm. it was uh, Phantom Steez. Um, you know, we 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 met up with Casper and. You know, from there we took a photo with him. You know, yo, I mean, we must actually find that photo. There's a photo of us and Capo, like, just announced we we're gonna dance with him. And then, ah, I think after that post, he followed me, and I was just like, God damn, he kissed me. Was this fun. is it. You know, but the one <laughs> where I was really like, oh shit, like, for my art, because that time Casper followed me being a dancer, you know? Yeah. So for me, like for AK to follow me for what I do as a as what an you artist, doing now, the, the yeah. what I'm doing now, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Like for me. Like I, I looked up to him for the longest time. Like the the, the, the artist I look up to is Drake and AKA Facts. In terms no, of writing, you. especially writing wise. Now Forbes is sick, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Writing. I aspire to yeah. write like them in whatever yeah. way, in my own style, but I really aspire to write like Drake and AKA. Like they have this way, like even when I like when I when I was in studio with AKA and like just seeing how he thinks of things and you know he trains us because like from dancing to rap we weren't those guys that yo are spitting you know yeah. freestyles Balls, all the yeah. time but he really forces yeah. us to do that how's, like, how's studio session with Forbes bro? how is it like, like bro it's like like yo, describe it's it, amazing yeah. like, you know there was even a time where um, you know I was in studio with Costa him and Must Be Dubs they were working on a project on the tape on the tape yeah, that's out right now on okay, the tape, cool. you know and you know, must be that I was like, yo, pull through, you know, and I'm like, ah, no, I don't want to, you know, being. Was it when they did the the camp uh, thing? No, 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 no. It was before that. Okay, cool. So I was like, nah, nah, I don't want to interrupt Keenan and Costa, you know, let them do their thing, them, you yeah. know, let them focus, you know. Yeah. And he's like, nah, it must be that I was like, nah, nah, dog, they cool. Pull up, pull up, mm. you know. I pull up to a session. I'm thinking, damn, yeah, man, like, um, I'm just gonna sit there and be bored, you know. I'm probably mm. not gonna be involved, you know. Mm. And man, th- this is just to show his character. While we're sitting there, you know, I'm obviously nervous because I'm just like, yo, man, it's fucking full, so like shit, like it's real. You know what I mean? Like sure. I'm with the go right sure. now. Sure. And this dude is just getting me involved. He's like, come on, do me, like, 
Come, like, right with us, dog. Like, let's work, let's work. Damn, yeah, bro. Shit. Like, I mean, I'm, it's, it's that moment, you bro. Pressure. It's that moment that you bro, and I'm like, like, I'm in the game for real now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, I'm riding with Paul. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. it, 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 it's really a dope experience yeah. being with him. He's really a genuine, amazing beautiful guy in, in yeah. his heart like yeah. I really actually I really love that dude like for real on the flip side of that uh, who, who, who f- unfollowed you on Instagram that really hurt you damn that's a good question um well, now you understand why it's called my DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, um, focalistic man. Like, oh yeah. shit, Voca unfollowed you. Yeah, though. Like, what the fuck you do to Voca? There was something that happened on Twitter mm-hmm. that I don't even remember, and you know, um, one of my boys said his manager told him because I, um, I know he's uh, focalistic's manager, and I was oh, like, yeah. yo, I was like to my photographer, me, I was like, yo, speak to Njabulo and check why Focus unfollowed me. Like, what's going on? Yeah. You know, so Njabulo checks and then, you know, Focus apparently tells him like, yo, something, but he can't even remember as well. He's like, okay, cool. There was something on Twitter that he saw my name attached to that tweet. Oh, shit. But I didn't insult him or anything. They yeah. even said like, I didn't insult him. But what, what was going on with the tweet? I don't know because I can't, I can't find the tweet. I even oh, tried to look shit. for it. You know what I mean? So from there, it was just like, Everything went blank And I'm yeah. not the type To chase someone as well So I was yeah. just like Yo man At the end of the day It's your choice And the way his manager Explained is that Like he was just A space where he just Didn't take bullshit From oh, anything yeah. So he's just like he An follow like, spree I You know what I mean away, So at the end of the day when when you Casper clean up does, in the game, does that those those stuff a lot. Yeah, so yeah. The, it, it comes a day where when you when you when you blowing up and you know there's a certain level of negativity maybe mm-hmm. that you experiencing mm-hmm. on your blow up mm-hmm. and you kind of become a bit hostile maybe mm. and or defensive and to protect your energy. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think you know those kind of things. He he probably went through those phases and he was just like, I'm just. I'm just. He never really it. maybe thought about it and specifically with me. He was just like, it's a button. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna unfollow. So I don't think it's anything like really personal where yeah. it's like if we saw each other it's like bad vibes like ah because at the end of the day when we do see each other it's cool it's on love yeah, yeah, yeah. god over everything or money over everything yeah god over everything man like because at the end of the day that money can go away trust me i've seen it times and times again. right like i've seen money come and go you know what money I mean? money's a money's a bitch bro yeah it's really a bitch yeah. bro so like if you if you really live your life based on money like i i've seen guys be so hungry for money quote about money be about money, like in such a dope way that i would even aspire to but because you let money control your life mm. those guys who worked so hard to get that money ended up being broke right you know what i mean so more than anything it's really about your integrity it's really about your consistency it's really about how you treat people in life because i can you know, I can treat people well that I and I try to do that throughout my life, you know. And I think they have seen people with good integrity struggle for the longest time and pe- be being stepped on for the longest time. But in the end, whether they're 40, whether they're 50, they've always come out richer and yes, more sir. successful. And it's only because everything they did throughout the years, every person remembers the good that they mm-hmm. did and the rewards come in so many different ways where there's a job opportunity I might be struggling now and because of how I treated just a, a person that thought mm-hmm. they were even a nobody mm-hmm. and me being who I am giving that person attention giving that person love yeah. they like they they lives change and they see me if I'm going through the struggle and they're like yo this guy was there for me or at least treated me like an equal and he, he's going through it I'm gonna yes, help sir. him as well you know yes, what I mean sir. there's there's guys like um, a guy called Johnny Malepa he was he was doing like artwork for AK <laughs> even yeah. before I knew AK and he was one of the first um you uh, guys to do like my auto he actually did my do me Clady logo you know mm-hmm. and i believed in him i was just like yo you trying to work hard i'm trying to work hard i believed in him and you know now he's working with guys overseas like doing artworks for i think he did one of future's diamond platinum artworks and stuff. yeah and he even helps me like when i was angry at trace for not playing my music videos no way. like he just told trace yo play my play to me Clady shit and they were like oh no we there was a system that wasn't working properly that mm. they couldn't see my emails oh. Oh, and now shit. he told them, yo, why are you Don't guys not playing the boy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's things like that, that okay, like cool. just by believing in someone or treating them as an equal, like you get certain rewards and yeah. it takes time. I mean, I think when I, when, I, when I put him on in that sense, it was like probably like six years ago. Yeah. And only now that return, even if it's a small return, like has come through. But let's keep it 1000. Are you comfortable from a, from a financial point of view now? Nah, uh, bro. Like, no, look, let's, 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 let's start here. This nigga's B. A corporate nigga. Oh yeah. I think before you got into the game, you always corporate. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only nigga that could pop 
when niggas couldn't pop. Oh. So my experience <laughs> with this with, with Tumi is yeah. that yeah. this 2016-17, there was a club in Bram that was okay, called Skyline yeah. at the time. He's been moving with the camp, Smokes, Phantom, Alpha. Yeah. Uh, Alpha being Forniam now. Okay, cool. Ooh, yeah, but yeah. these niggas used to walk into the club like 10 niggas, same yeah. time. And this was consistently, consistently. Like, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Back then They still do it till now Because yeah. it's, it's like a family it's unit a But yeah. for Every time I saw him You could tell this nigga just came out of work And hey We're here now Yeah yeah, yeah. So so Get get people to understand What, what corporate stance do you come from? Like, I mean I think I learned it from the dancing as well You know um, Was also running a studio with my Mentor You know Um and yeah, while I was dancing, we were just, you know, doing a lot of corporate gigs. And eventually I started just managing, you know, dancers. Um, and there was also me being a, a music director for Endemol Productions, you know. Yo, I hated that job. <laughs> <laughs> What's your experience? Yeah, so, yeah, so, definitely, yeah. definitely. I mean, um, you know, yeah, it was it was really dope. And um, I think from, from there, like, I just really wanted to get into music fully. So financially, I mean, if you when you're asking that question about now, like, uh, I've I've always was good with the savings. Uh, I used it to fund my career as well. Dope, but bro. I mean, when COVID came through, that's where the real struggle came. Yeah. But you know, start I started a water business now, and like water, know, water, you sell water. Yeah, yeah. So I sell Thanks. water. You know, inspired by Fifty. Okay, so um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. people need water. So need at water. the end of the day, it's it's, it's kind of before a, I, we got advertising. Space. Yeah, it's, it's it's kind of a free risk. Um, business to get into because like it's it's not really risky because if you just work hard and you're mm-hmm. consistent people need water and obviously the value of water is going to go up in the future yes so, sir you know what I mean uh, water is becoming more scarce and you know my secret uh, distributor has unlimited spring water in Petersburg that you know no one has access except hey us. my nigga you giving a, you, you dropping shit yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah like, real, dog. so you know obviously it's starting small so that's why yeah. I said I'm not in the best financial situation because we have to obviously you know yes, get sir. the stock sell it yes, sir. save it because I, I wanted to create a salary system mm-hmm. start hiring people so it's still at we had the beginning stages you guys mm-hmm. called me at the beginning stages Dope. of it you know what I mean Dope. but obviously 10 years from now like I need to pull up with my new pens or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out shout out hey yo man we yeah, got advertising yeah, yeah. space don't even worry about it yeah, I'm you know, our rates are not that bad you, you know, know what I'm saying, saying? yeah make sure <laughs> the, 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 the rates are clean for me when you try to advertise I'll, I'll be hitting you. no for real I'll be hitting you guys up for real Um, you know when we get enough finance yeah. in the business I'll yeah. be hitting people like you guys up oh, to say yo guys please Black business, you know, yeah. artists doing his thing. And well, what is, so was that was that move inspired by COVID hitting? Yes, for sure. Facts. For sure. Cause, okay. For sure. Because yeah. the game switched up after that, bro. Yeah, it was yeah, tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw hell. I've been seeing hell. Like I've been in hell, man. Hey, like, bro. But I'm not kidding. A lot like, of us, my nigga. Yeah, bro. Like I'm not gonna come here and act like yo, it's been Gucci. I even Basadi times, Basadi. Going up, like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm still suffering, like, right, right. now. Bro, it was bad. Like, for me, like, Basari was, like, my biggest gift and curse because it blew up at a time where no one had money. Mm. You know, there was no shows. Shit. So it's like, I have to work harder even now. It's like, I can't feed off it like other artists feed off, you know, they, 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 they hit they songs, hit you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I keep getting reminded of how much of a hit that song was. And it, it sometimes hurts me because it's just like, yo, why did I have to have a song that blows up at the peak mm. of COVID? Of COVID. Yes. Why couldn't it blow up this yeah, year? Bro. Or, you know, why couldn't it blow up just after when the streets are open? Why yeah. did it have to blow up at that time? And it's like, you know, a time where I think I'm an uh, I'm a musician in a sense because I'm not a clout musician. I'm not a I'm not a um, uh, an internet musician. I I, I feel like I low key come from the days of like. You have to be an artist that people have to be patient with, Facts. and once they get you, they really get you, and that's what happened with Basadi. Everyone's at home. Everyone got a chance to listen. The attention spans went all over the place, so it was it was a crazy concentration of attention. But now we had a space where everyone's attention spans are so short because there's so much content to consume. Yeah, um, that it's it, it it becomes a bit wild. You know what I mean? So I realized just from that experience that I'm just like, oh snap, like. My music takes time for people. People need to kind of focus on it, consume it, and then they appreciate it for what it is. And I believe that my music can be timeless. You know what I mean? And that's why I look up to the AKAs and the Drakes because subconsciously, whether I like it or not, I'm always trying to aim for a sound that is that is timeless, that it doesn't have a 
a year where oh mm-hmm. that was the sound at that time mm-hmm. you know what i mean so even with basadi like i pray that it's a time where if you hear it even from two years from now you don't feel like oh it's a time of that time you still feel like yo we can play it i mean radio still playing it you know the clubs are still playing it so i just pray that it becomes that song as well that is just timeless where it's like and that's because of the guitar like i believe that when you use certain instruments they they they, they help that song become timeless but when you try to chase trends um, it becomes tricky. So even I released a, a piano song, even the music video actually came out now recently. I can't say the day because you guys are going to air this another day or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, I've just recently released a piano song and, you know, it, it, it had all the trendy instruments in it. But, you know, um, my, my nigga must be dubs putting chords that I re- it reminded me again, oh, this is why, you know, what I'm trying to do. And these chords in the piano are timeless. Like, you can hear the song whether it's a hit or not, I don't care. But I want you to be able to hear it in five years and I play that shit for you. And you don't feel like, nah, do me. That was like, oh, long ago. You know, Man, I get the biggest irritation when you go to the barber shop. I don't I don't think I have. I mean, my barber is lit. Like, he's a dope guy. Oh, yeah? The space. How long you been with him? I think it's now two years. Oh, yeah? I think it's two years. <sighs> I'm with the barber. Yeah? Guy is like I love brother. you. Well, I'm with a barber. Yeah, he's he's fat. He's he's the one that cuts. Yeah, that's Sabi says he's actually Sabi, coming coming yeah. to. Yeah. Shout out to my barber Raul. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my nigga you know Raul. I, mean? and, 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 I see you, nigga. I can't shout, shout you out. And, shout out to Raul. Like and I'm with a barber. Like he's really like such a humble guy because. Um, in South Africa, like when you get a little bit of clout, like you really just switch up no matter what. Right. Oh, he's your got characteristics. Clout now, yeah. Yeah. Your characteristics really change in a weird way. I've seen it time and time again. Well, on yeah. that, who, 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 which artist switched up on you? Like you saw, yo, this nigga acting hella <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Yo, that you like, 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 like that. Nah, come on, bro. Like, just let us know, like, come on, hey, like, man, uh, it's look, just me drop, and you. Drop buddy. a name, drop, drop a name. Drop a just oh. one. Okay, you know? well, it, it, it's a homie. I just hope we can talk about it. But I just feel like you know, my homie Venom's kind of like switched oh, up DJ. on me. Like, yeah, like, cause like he, 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 you know, we we don't chat as much as we used to, and it's just those things where it's just like, yo, bro, like even if we're moving, we we busy and things are hectic. Like, let's always try to. Stay in communication with each other. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think that one's definitely coming from a hurting place. Like I am a little hurt because like this guy has really believed in me. So sometimes, you know, as his career progresses or, you know, he's he signed he signed to a Sony now, you know? And it's just like kinda like when I message him, he's just not replying. Shit. You know what I mean? Were you, were you guys like tight, tight before yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean he was his DJ. No, no, he wasn't. Oh, okay. um, he's just been there since day one. Oh, you know okay, what I mean? Cool. Like DJ Smokes. Oh, like yeah. people like him and DJ Smokes have been in my life since my career started. You know what I mean? So it's just like, kind of hurts. It's but a like, weird vibe, right? At the same time, I have to just try and believe that he's in a space where just a lot is going on and maybe just a lot of people are hollering at him or whatever. But I just feel like, for me, if no matter how big I would get, like, no matter how but busy fam my is fam, is, bro. Fam is like, you know bro. what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, I feel you. Fam is fam. Yeah. And this... I told you, just yeah. picking up, even if it's like, you know, I understand four, three days go by, but yeah, when yeah, you come yeah, it, it's like, message. yo, my nigga, what's up, yeah, you good? And it, and it happens, yeah. like, I mean, with Costa, with Costa, like, be, him be, also be my brother, like, there'll be times where things get so hectic, right? where, you know, maybe I'll call him, even the missed call, and if things get hectic, but he'll call me, even if it's the next week, he'll no be like, way. yo, bro. Yo, it's last been crazy. week was wow. I'm so sorry for you know oh, what yeah. I mean. I'm like, oh, shut up, bro. Ah, like, I, I know it happens. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, I don't know. Whatever he's going through, I hope like it's it's in a positive place, and I just hope we can end up be talking again and you know playing PlayStation like, together again. Yeah. You know. So I'm just gonna let him do his thing, but I definitely feel like recently that's kind of the one that kind of hurts right now. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah. You read comments on your Instagram after posting. Uh yeah 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 I always reply I, I like so my, my biggest priority is like my supporters okay, like cool. they come number one I feel like without them you really don't have a certain level of presence or power in mm-hmm. the industry because the industry is so like low to a point that like they your currency is your fan base mm. you know what I mean it's not really about your art yeah you know? so I realized that there's so many talented artists that I was like yo I yeah, you, they don't Dog, care. On, on the law, on the laws of the industry, like one or two things that 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 you just hate about the South African game, bro. Yeah, it's, I think there's a couple, but let me see what I can remember now. Is that I just you know hate that like talent is not really a thing. It's more about feel. Like South Africa is a country of feeling. Feeling? Which is how cool. so? Like like feeling, social like, media feeling? Yeah, right? like anything. Like 
your hair could be a certain way and just because of your hair people being like that people fuss with you yeah it's like oh, oh I like you you're the way you dress you know and that's okay, cool, cool you know what I mean yeah. but sometimes it's like it'll overshadow the talent so the talent, you yeah. know what I mean but there's, at the same time there are talented guys that can be dressed like shit but they're fucking but talented they f- South Africa will fuck with them you know what I mean yeah. so it's like it sometimes irritates artists and sometimes myself but I try to always look at the balance in things so I'll be like ah why are they fucking with this person because they dress a certain way but the music is <laughs> guck, you know what I mean but at the end of the day I'm like okay but there is that person who dresses guck and mm. he's blowing up purely through music or she's blowing up purely through music you know what I mean but um I do definitely see that with the the whole cloud situation and the way the industry is moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was living in Los Angeles for years as a dancer, you know. So, okay. you know, I auditioned for them um and yeah, like they they accepted me for their music video for their son Trey Smith. Oh, uh, yeah. I think his alias was called Tra- uh, Ace at the oh. time. You know, so just being around them um Shit, you know was bro. just a really dope experience, you know. Damn. And um I re- like I just remember even speaking to Will Smith like on set and he was just like, "Yo, why are you here? You know, we're like, why are you in LA? Like, I'm like, how to make it? To make I mean, it? Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you didn't knew like you're from South Africa. Or Africa? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. He knew, so he's like, "Yo, why are you here? You know?" And I'm just like, already, I'm just like, because bear in mind when I just met him on set, because oh, I met yeah. Jada at the auditions, oh, yeah. and I didn't see him. So when I met him on set, this guy's a giant. So I had like young tears because I was like, "Yo, this, 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 this is the first Prince of LA. This is first Prince of LA. This guy's like big. This is first Prince. You see, I'm short, so I'm just like, yo, godly, like, you know what I mean? So um, him even even just acknowledging me like was such a big deal for me and Shit. you know he inspired me to come back to South Africa in, in a sense of like doing something that really don't yeah, yeah like especially he inspired me to he sparked that artist as well okay, because cool. he was like yo my my son daughter they dance they do music like do everything do everything you right no um they they got a crib in well, at the time, they had a crib in Cape Town, you know, okay, so he cool. watches TV research, yeah. so he knew about Somizi and all that stuff. Oh, you know? shit, so I, they, they plugged hey, all Somizi, the game. Somizi is the guy. No, I'm, I'm for real, bro. Somizi is the guy. I thought, I thought Black Coffee is the guy. Like, no, so look, Black Coffee easily the guy. Yeah. Like, way bigger, but I'm saying Somizi is the guy where it's like, they, they see him. They, they, they come they, they, they plugged on the game. They see him, you know what Damn. I mean? And I it's, oh, it's, it's Americans, even celebrities that come and when they watch our TV, they, 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 they go in the hotel rooms or they, they rented out cribs, they watch oh, our TV, they watch SAVs because they're trying to check out what's going on. Who's the guy? What's you going know? on? Yeah. So yeah, he basically was just saying like, "Yo, there's a you know there's a guy called Som Som something." I was like, "Somizi." He's like, "Yeah, Somizi." Oh yeah. You know, and he's a choreographer, he's a but he's so big. He's so, aware. he's so big. You know, yeah. in LA, everything's been done, and time, the moments are shorter. Whereas you gonna you could with your talent you could blow up in LA, cool. But like, I just feel like the success of dancers here, the the the, the time frame is so short because you know we mentioned celebrity choreographers that came in and out of the game, and that freaked me out. I was like, oh snap, like it was that short. Shit. Damn. Okay, and he's like, but in South Africa, what I see is when you blow up as a your longevity, as a, as as longevity is longer. Yeah. Like, I, 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 yeah. I see what I see what he so means. So don't focus that. on to me. Don't focus on too much of. LA. The limelight, the limelight. The limelight. Oh, okay, Focus cool. on the longevity, the longevity of your career. Focus on the product that makes people fuck with and you, and that you can do with uh, with longevity. Yeah. And that changed my mind. And he's just like, yo, try to do everything: acting, singing, rapping. Try everything. My right. kids, I, I try to make my kids do everything. You know yeah. what I mean? And like, they really can do everything. Hold on, like, but let's talk about that year in LA, bro. Like, when you were out there for a year, where were you staying? Like. Yeah. How's the game in LA? How are you moving? Like yeah, so I got recruited by Christian Guitarra, oh, yeah? uh, Mexican. He managed like in Greece and got Glacius, like bands. Um, no, you talking Shakira's about these bands. niggas like they just some small yeah. like you know. Bro, oh, the, the, brown. the internet works these days. It's like, <laughs> the way the internet works these days, it's like just everything is like everything is a computer. Like, yeah, everything feels yeah. like. like Accessible Accessible I, I don't know Like I've seen the way Guys even throw names Like it's nothing anymore I'm like oh snap It's not a flex anymore man. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean If I was around rappers And I mentioned the stuff Like they'll just be like Oh okay cool oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying Like, <laughs> like next Like even if I mention Will Smith Like I never yeah. In conversations I never yeah. mention Like Will Smith And yeah. all that That's why you won't see it On the internet oh, much yeah. with my, So we got the know? exclusive You know my name podcast Name drop As an artist you know. Feel free to drop my name Name drop my name Like you know This nigga You don't advise <laughs> he does <laughs> Get it So yeah, yeah man You know so Yeah um, You know he took me in And um, I was living in um, Marina Del Rey Okay it's like next door to Venice Beach Okay cool um, And yeah it was a beautiful spot 
I mean, like he even organized me a Merc, which was dope. Oh, you you had a Merc yeah, in yeah. LA? Yeah, like, driving not through the, the not city. The craziest Merc, but oh, like okay, a just like nice a decent. Merc. Yeah. It's a Merc. <laughs> My nigga, drop top. You know, you in LA, <laughs> West Coast, baby. Bro, it's you crazy, know what I mean? Crazy driving that thing on the, at the she, side on the road, right side. Yeah. My South African license, which is dope. She. Like I was able to use my South African license. Yo, man, I did something so illegal. I remember the one time we were so drunk, <laughs> and the cops stopped me, and I was turned. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like and a black just, man in America. Oh, my God, <laughs> my guy. I'm like, bro, that's for my ID. I show him. I'm trying to show, like, take my mouth away because I'm drunk. Show him. <laughs> it's from, from South Africa. Oh, okay. Like, if he tested me, I was going to be deported, like, for real. Like, for real. Same like, time. It was over for me, you know. But, like, the LA life was really fun. Like, you know, um, the the dance culture was fun. Yeah. The, the 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 act. I kind of saw the actors a bit in yeah. uh, Hollywood studios. Yeah. I got to see yeah, North Hollywood. And yeah, yeah, North, North Hollywood. Walk. I used to yeah. get to see um, movies. The Purge. I saw the Purge. I was one of the people judging the Purge. So like bef- when before they just it made dropped. It, yeah, and I had to give my reviews about oh, how I felt about. It. That was a cool experience. I won't lie. That was pretty dope. Got to meet some actors. You know. Uh, that are just you know studying or whatever just gotta yeah. be in the vibes and the club life was amazing as well mm-hmm. um, you know uh, I, I you know I met um, Ricky Rick and his cousin there Ricky Rick in America yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that cool. side you know that was also dope you know we got to party a bit I think that was the first time I got to like really speak to him uh, Ricky knew me from dancing as well okay so, cool you know I knew his cousin I was re- really tied with his cousin um, his cousin's called Phoenix Rose a, a rapper right now and he was like yo let's go see my cousin I'm like oh, okay cool and I didn't also know Ricky like that as an artist, you know. So as we meet, ah, uh, cool guy. Like Ricky's always been that guy. Oh yeah, he's always been that cool guy. She. Like for real, you know. And then, yeah, we putted it up. It was a good time in LA. And yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, LA was just a, a vibe, but eventually, like, I could just see, like, as you get to know people mm, that side and mm. the the dances, like, people started backstabbing each other. Now I started oh, seeing shit. the drama towards the end. Oh shit! I mean, there was a a, a person who I slept at uh, this, this other dancer's crib, and the uh, the roommate switched off our uh, our um the plug. Yeah. So now batteries died. So we couldn't get you an alarm to get to an audition to Chris Oh, that was like sabotage. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, nigga, yeah, that's yeah. real life. Yeah, it's, it's real in Hollywood. Like Hollywood is really like it's that cutthroat. competitive, cutthroat. Like, is it more cutthroat. from a, from? Is it more cutthroat than Joe Burr? Easily, easily. Like, like it's that extreme. Demon level, dog. Like demon. Fuck, level. dog. Yeah, demon level. That's why, like, when I see like you know South Africans, as even on Instagram, trying to be pretentious or. You know, trying to, th- I'm just like, ah, you, you ain't not doing it. Even so when, people, out, like, when I'm like, people talk about the Illuminati, is it like that? I Do believe, you believe it? That's really that. Are you, hold up, my nigga. So yeah. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up. That's that good shit for the podcast. Hold up. So you try to tell me, you honestly think Illuminati in Hollywood is a Yeah, real like thing. it's not a, I, I doubt it's even called Illuminati. But, but there's some sort of secret a, something going on. Co- what makes you think so? Like, what are I the. Mean, sh- it, it was just the energy I felt like when I went with uh, Jada Pinkett's niece, Jade Pinkett, to you know, um, to to a party like the Disney actors. And, okay, like, cool. I, I forgot their names now, but I you know those Cody kids. Yeah, Hannah Montana, all that. Yeah, 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 all bro, them Disney yo, kids. And I, I didn't see uh, Miley Cyrus there, but like I saw these other guys, like popular guys. The ones on Suit Life like, on Dick. Yeah, Cody and yeah, yeah, those yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 I saw all of those muffles there was lit like people I can't say they did shit cause like I don't want that this, this shit to go <laughs> this to them they smiled but I just saw a child star sniffing that white oh, girl shit. like it was lit like and just the way you leave your phone at the at the at, at the, the door, reception you know, no cameras you gotta sign like it's organized NDAs, as hell you know all Nothing that kind of oh you signed NDAs yeah, yeah. Uh, now uh, in South Africa you know you gotta hit that now like yeah. uh, in, in SA like if you have girls pulling up to the hotel you gotta sign yeah. NDAs yeah. put the phone you know it's a normal thing yeah, now, but yeah, I, yeah. I would see those type of things but um, you could just see how guys would have chats at those parties and you know there'll be weird things going on oh, like shit. you know suddenly i would see at a corner of you know the infinity pools they're yeah. sitting in like fours like crossing their legs just sitting there and shit. i'll be like yo are they high what on the mushrooms fuck, what the fuck but then they're talking that? doing this you know this, there was just certain energies i'd feel there yeah. where i was just like okay this, this is a, a, this is a different it's hard to explain like you kind of yeah. have to be there to feel it but it was a weird world but it was crazy it was dope i just try to kind of like 
you know, turn the other cheek and just oh, yeah. rock. Because I was like, oh, yo, yeah, I'm in yeah, LA yeah. and I'm, I'm out chill. Dude, so I'm here to rock. I'm <laughs> you know, the quiz is lit oh, there. Nigga, you like, caught it on your ancestors. Like, uh-uh, <laughs> y'all niggas ain't gone. It's just in bed for some time. It's just in bed for. These niggas are not going to catch me slipping. Mm. <laughs>